Hi, I'm Jim Klein, Peter LSU beat writer for NOLA.com, the Times Picayune, with another vlog. It's uh, open date week, uh, beat open date. Um, LSU is in pretty good shape, though. Coming off a 10 to 7 victory over number three Ole Miss, which has kind of changed the outlook of the season. Uh, these this last three game stretch has been quite a turning point. Three straight victories over Florida, Kentucky, and Ole Miss, including just a, a really hard fought game in which LSU turned the ball over four times, missed a, a chip shot field goal, uh, and had uh, uh, lots of other little issues. But uh, a great defensive effort shut down Ole Miss. Uh, held it to 58 yards rushing on first down. Really good job there. And, and two of those plays accounted for 43 yards. So uh, 12 of the carries uh, netted uh, uh, Ole Miss uh, only 15 yards on first down. Uh, a big stat. While LSU averaged 7.6 yards per, uh, per attempt on first down and rushing 5.8 yards on first down. So uh, you can see where the Tigers' running game has taken over the offense. LSU's developed its personality. And the defense is playing terrific. Uh, excellent job by the defense, uh, having uh, stopped Ole Miss uh, when they uh, when the Rebels got the ball at the LSU 34 at, after a shanked punt uh, and held them off in the second half and shut them out. Uh, uh, quite a difference from the team that gave up 41 points to Auburn. So where do they go from here? Uh, don't get too excited about LSU's chances of getting into the uh, uh, the playoffs. That would it would take a lot of, uh, uh, of things happening. You've got 18 one-loss teams and two unbeaten teams, Mississippi State and Florida State. LSU does have an outside shot to win the West Division. Uh, it would probably entail a uh, three or four way tie. Uh, they they they're going to lose the tiebreaker with Mississippi State and um, Auburn, but they'll have the tiebreaker on Ole Miss. And if they can beat Alabama on November the eighth, uh, they'll have a tiebreaker over the tie too. So we'll see how that all comes out. Uh, the SEC office announced a couple of things today. One that LSU and Alabama were going to be playing at seven p.m. So that gives LSU seven night home games and seven tries. Uh, pretty good for the fans who have uh, complained that they're uh, playing during the day too much. And the SEC also fined LSU $5,000 for, for its fans rushing onto the field. But as Joe Oliva said, he'd gladly pay uh, the $25,000 for the second offense uh, if, if they rush the field uh, after a possible LSU victory over Alabama on November the 8th. Well, we'll see how all that comes out. LSU with the off week, they, it's well earned. They played nine straight weekends. And uh, uh, an off week getting ready for Alabama is always a good thing. So uh, stay with us on NOLA.com. Uh, uh, follow all the LSU action here, and I'll see you on NOLA.com.